When you hear the word Davos, you immediately remember the World Economic Forum, the international organization that brings together business, political, economic and academic leaders of the world to work towards improving the global state of things. Taking a step away from the approximately 260 sessions that were held during the 5-day annual meeting, let's take a look at all the activities that took place on the sidelines. With temperatures staying decidedly below freezing, the snow came down in droves. The snowfall brings with it a chance to hone your driving on ice skills. Every year, Audi organizes a driving challenge at the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum at Davos. Delegates are invited to try their hand at battling the ice-laden roads in sparkling Audi A8s and Audi Q5 hybrids. The experience to drive a car here on ice is the most important one which you can get in your life because you see how the physics of a car perform on an underground which is really icy and harsh. So uh, I think I could only recommend to everybody, if you have an opportunity to do that, please join that rally, it's amazing. The ice driving experience is an integral part of, by now forms an integral part of a whole WO experience for everyone. I think we have a lot of session, political discussion, meet and greet, but you see a lot of the business as well as the political leaders that sometimes take a precious half an hour, one hour out of their schedule and want to do something different. I think there the Audi ice driving experience is a very important part. Well, for the dynamic drive, as we see in the background, we have the A8 um, with a Quattro drive. We have a Q5 hybrid. We have behind the terminal for individual test drive, we have the R8 Spider. We have the S6, we have the S7, we have the A2 Static, we have the A3 e-tron. So a lot of cars which people can test here at their convenience. And you'll be surprised whoever, who takes uh, time out of his busy schedule to come by and have an Audi experience. A specially prepared ice track serves as battleground. But before gunning some engines, the delegates are briefed by the driving instructors. Driving on ice is markedly different from driving on normal roads, especially since steering and stopping on ice takes up more than twice the normal distance. Having gotten a better idea about the nuances of driving on ice, the participants get into the Audi A8 and Q5 hybrids and get cracking on the ice track. A lot of slips and some slides later, the participants begin to get a feel of driving on ice. But the star of the ice drive was definitely the Audi Q5 hybrid. has a multi-award winning 2.0-litre TFSI petrol engine with a 33 kilowatt electric motor powered by a high-performance lithium-ion battery. I've been coming to Davos for many years but this is the first time I'm trying out this uh, ice driving experience. It's, it's very interesting and uh, well, the car handles beautifully. This one of course is a hybrid so when you take off you don't even don't even know because there's no sound of the engine you're on battery I'm sure hybrids will find success in India as well but uh, I think it's still still a long way off we, we just have a, a, so, a couple of them now, yep. off you go just have a couple of couple of them right now but I'm sure uh, numbers uh, number of models will grow number of cars will grow so with uh, Two-wheelers. I think it's a brilliant idea, both because it's fun and it's uh, it's a learning experience. It's fun because you don't get to do this all the time, and, and in any case, you don't have too much ice in India. So, so it's it's good fun, and also it's it's a uh, it's an educative thing to do. It kind of trains you how to manage uh, in in a different kind of a crisis or an emergency. I think it's a wonderful initiative. Quite good initiative they have taken. It gives a new exposure. How, especially for us from India. We've never seen the diving on the lake. You know, we are, we'll never get the opportunity to dive on the lake also. It's a quite thrilling. Well, the Audi Hybrid is the most extraordinary car I've ever driven. And I've tried very many. It doesn't feel like a hybrid. It handles like a grown-up sports car. I can't wait to have one. It was fantastic, I have to say. Uh, Dorit's a much better driver than I am. So 
Yeah. I've had it's 30 it. years more experience. <laughs> it was a good initiative. If one is going to drive in Europe in the icy conditions, it's good to get to know. And the Audis are four-wheel drive cars. I have an Audi uh, in Bombay. <laughs> I love to do the thing because I love driving myself. I own an Audi. Okay. And I don't use a driver. I have an A4. Okay. And I have my eyes on a TT when I can afford one. I don't use a driver myself and uh, just now the time will not permit but I think it's an interesting, even if I get an hour off, I'm going to try and do the ice drive. Discussing the world economy, braving the freezing cold and driving on ice. All in the day's work for the participants of Audi's Ice Drive.